What's up everybody? John Charmijo here. I hope everybody's doing good and want stuff. I got an album review to do for you and I'm going to show it to you right now. This is the debut album from the band Mulder entitled Vanished Cadavers. This is released on Rotted Life Records. Now, if you're not too familiar with this band, they are based out of Joliet, Illinois. And the best way to describe the sound of this band would be a very traditional, thrashy, morbid style of death metal. Uh, yeah. I had been hearing a lot of things about Mulder over the last several years, and upon getting to listen to this band's music, what I had heard of it, I absolutely enjoyed. This is a band that has a very distinctive sort of sound. Uh, pretty much traditional meat and potatoes death metal with some thrash metal elements, some blood and guts sort of content when it comes to their artwork and lyrics, and overall just a, a very hard-working sort of package. And of course the material I have heard from this band, I want to say uh, An Act of Revenge, uh, the split that they did with another new up-and-coming band, Coffin Rot, and then the Necrobiome demo from last year. Just some seriously impressive music that I've heard from this band, and I was very curious to hear what was going to come next from them. And now here we are with their debut official full-length entitled Vanished Cadaver. Vanish Cadavers. It's 11 tracks, and it clocks in at around 31 minutes in length, and like everything this band has done previously, this is a little more of the same, but a lot more refined, a lot more in-depthness, in-depth detail when it comes to how they make music, and it's just a damn good time. I mean, if you're into thrashy sort of death metal, I think you're really going to get your kicks with this Mulder album. There's just a lot to enjoy here. Uh, upon hearing the opening moments of uh, granulated chunks, you already know what type of death metal you're getting yourself into with a project like this, and it definitely shows with the style of music that they play. It is incredibly entertaining. The guitar playing on here is incredibly top-notch. I love how every riff sounds. I love how every riff is... Uh, expanded upon and detailed. I mean, you hear it on stuff like, like I mentioned with Granulated Chunks, but also later on the album with songs like the title track, Feasting on Dirt, Act of Revenge. Of course, I mentioned Necrobiome. There's a song on here called Necrobiome, which is pretty damn cool and so on and so forth. There's some really, really great guitar playing going on here. The bass work on here is equally as awesome. I love how this bass guitar tone sounds. I love the way that it feels throughout this entire album. Uh, very well played, very well heard. Uh, yeah, very awesome stuff going on here as far as the bass work goes. Uh, the drumming on here is very good. I love the pace. I love the blasting. I love the the energy, I love the pace. Uh, a lot of these songs are short and sweet and to the point here, but the fact that this drummer maintains a very awesome pace throughout is very, very good. And uh, when it comes to the vocals, there's a lot of depravity going on here with this vocal performance. Very wild and crazy sort of sounds coming out of this, out of this vocal's mouth. Very well done and entertaining stuff here. Uh, very good range, very good detail, and definitely telling some really awesome stories in addition to you kind of get an idea in your mind as to what all these songs are about and how they're executed. And I think everything works out very well here. So overall, this is an incredibly impressive debut album. If you're into death metal, if you're into death metal with thrashy elements, if you're into that morbid, decaying, blood, guts, corpse sort of style stuff, Mulder is the band to be checking out, and I'm definitely excited to see them continue to have a great future ahead of them. So, if I had to think of any personal favorite tracks, I would definitely have to say uh, Granulated Chunks, uh, the title track, uh, Feasting on Dirt, um, Ritual Killing is another really good song, uh, God's Critters, and not to mention the Asphyx cover at the very end of this album. They did the song Serenaded Lead, which I think is a really good cover song if you're into Asphyx. I think they do that cover quite well. So do Asphyx some justice. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you some links in the description box to how you can get a hold of this album and listen to it. I will leave you a link to the Mulder Bandcamp page where you can listen to this album in its entirety, hear it for yourself, and be your own judge as to whether you think it's worthy of being purchased or not. You can stream it, buy it digitally, and to the best of my knowledge, it is available physically in a wide multitude of formats. Uh, Rotted Life Records put out the vinyl version. To the best of my knowledge, I believe it is sold out. Uh, Goat Throne Records put out a CD version of this album. I know it's a limited run CD, but I'm hope I don't know if they'll 
there'll be any more available copies or if there's going to be a potential repress. I know there could be something as far as the vinyl repress. And uh, Head Split Records put out the tape version, but let me show you some of the physical uh, copies here. Of course, this is the Rod and Life Records version. Absolutely love the, the, the matte finish on this jacket. This badass, uh, gruesome graphics artwork. Uh, back with track listings, band member, member photos. Uh, came, came with this one sheet with a thanks list. Credits. As you can see, there's some really great guest appearances on this album. Um, I believe um, uh, on the track, The Sweet Test of Death, Cody from Sanguish Sugarbog is on here. Uh, Mike from Cyanide is on... Um, on the on one of the tracks and uh tom from cardiac arrest does some guitar solo work on here as well really good little cast of characters here and uh the vinyl version came on two different variants uh purple vinyl and i just got the standard black vinyl edition sounds and plays great really good quality as to be expected from rotted life records and i also have the cd version which is put out through um uh, Goat Throne Records. As you can see, this is a really good CD quality here. Uh, same sort of deal going on here. As you can see, it's structured a little differently since it's on CD. Comes with a sticker and more credits. Uh, very, very awesome job done here by um, uh, Goat Throne Records. But yeah, again, the album is uh, Rod, uh, Mulder with uh, Vanished Cadavers, released through Rotted Life, CD on Goat Throne Records, and taped through Headsplit Records. Definitely check this one out. And for a score, I'm going to give this a very solid 8.5 out of 10. Very impressive debut of awesome death metal from Illinois. So if you happen to have heard this album, definitely let me know what you think about it and how you feel about it. Or any of you guys into Mulder, definitely let me know. I'm going to conclude this review. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for checking out my channel. Until the next time, Army Hell out.